guys welcome back to my channel it's marisa i just want to wish everyone a very very happy valentine's day i got a wonderful surprise for my hubby uh, this morning he came home on his break and he brought me this cute little tiger and some beautiful um chocolates and he i'm gonna show you really quick these beautiful gorgeous roses i haven't seen roses like this in years he did a beautiful job i am so grateful to him that's why i had to put it in my video today so really quickly um and i just want to say real quick that because it is valentine's day I may or may not be able to upload this today. Uh, we're going out later tonight. So hopefully I can upload this today. If not, this video will be up tomorrow. Okay, guys? And also next week, just letting you know, my upload schedule may be a little wonky due to the fact that um, it is a week off over here with the kids in school, uh, my husband's off and my son, so I'm going to have to work around them being home and stuff like that. Alright, so on with the show. So I pretty much made my decision on which painting to use, even though I do love this one, but just the issues on the edges here. I basically chose this to use for my chakra paintings. So I'm just going to bring them down really quick and put them on the painting. Here we go. So this is how it's going to be. Keep this camera straight so you don't get nauseous looking at me. All right. So, you know, obviously. This is how it's gonna be, and I think that's gonna work beautifully. Yeah. So that is my decision, and I'm sticking to it. Um, I will make, uh, for my Markiplier um, little mini-series, I'm pretty much gonna make two paintings for that um, project, and then embellish uh, one of the paintings, I believe, okay? All right, so that is that, so today, we are a gonna unmold these i unmolded a couple of them already just to see how i never used molds like these before so they didn't come out exactly the way i wanted and i did make a boo-boo on this one and probably another one or two but um and i'll explain to you in a minute when i come back um i did unmold this section but i'll i'm gonna unmold the rest on um on here when i come back so this is, how, this is how this came out. This is my little um, coaster set, the Geo coaster set that's um, in four parts. So that's how these came out. So this side's really, really shiny. Um, this side's shiny too, but a little more matte. And I did use some of that um, glass in there and the silver chips. And this is uh, gold mica. This is actually purple. I do have like an amethyst one too. And I forgot, um, I forgot the, what color this one is, but it's gorgeous. No matter what color it is. All right, so we're gonna unmold that. Um, I am gonna bring out my um, resin in a few. Um, I'm keeping it in my kitchen because it's warmer in there and just keep the temperature stable. So today we're going to be doing the love mold, all right? And if I have some extras, uh, some extras, some extra resin, I am going to make a few gabachons, the bigger ones though. These are the ones, the second one here, this size is the one that actually fits in these molds. And then the other ones I can use for, um, I could dip, I could dip them in some paint, some, actually some wet paint. Uh, the drippings from my pour paintings so I'm gonna make some of those the smaller ones maybe I'll stop at like this size because the smaller ones I really wouldn't use for anything so I just got this glitter yesterday it's like sequin glitter 
This is called like a fairy. They said mermaid, but I picked the um, fairy glitter. So they have really cool stars. They got some hearts. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see. But this is really, really nice. So I'm going to add some of that to my resin. I am definitely going to add this chunky Cupid glitter. And these are the colors I wanted to use. This is raspberry red. This is the Arteza um, Mica Pigments. And what is this? This is the strawberry red. This is, what's it called? Light uh, Plum. And this is, let's see, what is this called? Oh, ooh, yeah, Rose Gold. All right. So I was thinking about alternating um, one color for each letter. Okay. And then in one, uh, let, I'm going to put the chunky glitter and then the other one I'm going to put the little fairy glitter and I'm going to alternate okay and yeah one color per letter and I think that is it so listen I will be back and I will unmold these first and then we can get started on actually mixing up some resin and doing this um, beautiful love mold for Valentine's Day okay guys stay tuned Hey guys, I am back. So let's get started with unmolding this guy. Now that I took one out, I couldn't help myself. Um, the other night I had to unmold one just to see how it came out. So sorry about that, but now it actually will be a little easier to unmold these. All right, or maybe not. Now here we go. All right, that's one section. Very pretty, I love it. So, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I'm really loving doing this. I think this is so awesome that I'm making my own objects. And you could, you know, customize them for people, like for gifts um, or for people that want to buy them. You know, if someone says, hey, I want this color, this color, this color, I personally have right now about 38 different colors, some from Primal Flow, and then there were 35 of different color pigments from Arteza. So that's coming out real pretty, nice and shiny. I think that glass is popping through a little bit here. Um, on the inside, to kind of make it a little dull looking, so I'll keep that in mind. I remember this is all new for me so I'm just kind of experimenting and um, you know I'm gonna make some mistakes which is totally cool because that's how we learn right so this is the last piece to this section and there we go Wow this came out so pretty okay all right, so that's that mold done. Now let's put that together real quick so you see what it looks like. Doo -doo -doo. And there we go. Beautiful. Absolutely adore this. Gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, I'm just having fun, you know. Now these, what happened was... Remember I said I had those little plastic eyes? I think I showed you in another, the like dragon eyes. Again, I never did this before. I never used these types of molds before. I never used this pigment before, nothing, right? So I put the eye in, and as you can see, you can't see it. You can see the outline of it. I didn't realize, I thought that the eye would lay flat and that the um, pigment, the resin would just go on top of it. But of course it seeped through and now you can't see the eye. But again, that's a learning um, experience, but I think these are still like super cute. So what I'm gonna do is make some more of these and just use um, clear resin. And then maybe add some, whoops, thank God it's resin, right? Um, maybe add some like glitter or like glass or those uh, silver chips for those. But you know, I messed up. Again, I really had no idea. I never put like, objects like this, like eyes. I thought because it was so bright, they would pop out. But so you could see it. 
but you can't see it. And I all and also the resin I used was that really crappy resin, sorry, Art Glow. So I couldn't make it clear um, because it was just too many bubbles in it. So I had to use mica, and I wanted to use it up. I didn't want to throw it away. So I still had gotten some cute guys. This one, I added just the um, silver resin first. And I put the pink around. So that kind of came out cool. Alrighty. So let's open, let's demold this one. These are a little harder to pop out. But, there we go. Just pop them that way. There we go. Actually, they're not that difficult. Ooh. Ah, this one came out really cool. Awesome. Oh, okay. Okay, see, I didn't put enough resin on that side. What I did was use a stick. What, did it break off? No. All right, so this is, again, a learning thing. I did not put enough resin on this side. Sorry, my camera. Um, what I was trying to do was, sorry about the cord, was take this little tool and kind of shove the resin in there. Not puncture it, but like kind of shove it, make sure it got in. And obviously not enough, but again, see, learning. Or maybe it's supposed to be like that, but probably not. But anyway, I still think it's super cute. You know, um, these guys actually take a lot more resin than I thought they would. So let's see how this one came out. Again, this is my first time using these. So, you know, it's going to take some practice. This one came out pretty easy. Ooh, this one came out perfect. Awesome. Love it. I think this was another one I put an eye in and it did it. Um, you can't see it, but again, you know, learning, learning, learning. But this one came out super cute as well. And oh, this is the big daddy. Let's see. Let's separate it a little bit first. So I don't want to break any little points there may be. Now this one took a lot of resin. Ooh, wow. Oh, yeah. This is super awesome. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is so cool. Look at the detail. If my camera would focus, that would be awesome. Okay. This came out beautiful. I love this. This is this beautiful green pigment. I'm gonna have fun with this one. What I could also do is paint with acrylic paint beforehand. I could do some details, let it dry, and then pour resin over it. That's what I may do. All right, last one to unmold, and then we get to making. Oops. Third. So I heard a little crack there. <gasps> oh, it did come out. It worked. I don't know how it worked, but I must have stuck this one in properly, and it did work. Oh, I am so freaking happy. This is so cool. I, I must have, like, shoved it in more uh, than this one. Just the resin just went over it. Um... I don't know what I did right with this one and what I did wrong with this one, but who cares right now? Um, oh, I think this cracked. Yep, that's the crack I heard. Crap. Oh, well. All right. Well, you know what? I don't know how I'm going to fix that, but again, okay, I just have to be very careful in molding these. Um, that's a shame that that cracked, but maybe did it crack or is that a little, I don't know. But maybe I could actually use this to my advantage. And I could actually, you know what? It's nothing wrong with it. I could actually make a keychain out of this. I'm gonna put like a thin wire, 
through here and then add a keychain. Really freaking cool. So happy. Alright guys, I am so so happy this worked and that I just did not go to waste. I love these molds. Alright, so I will be back in a little while and we will get to making the love mold today. Alright, see you in a sec. Hey guys, I am back. So we are using again the Unicone Art, um, the resin and the hardener. So I'm going to go measure out the hardener first and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it off camera come back and then pour it that way you are not bored to tears um, just watching me <laughs> mix the um, mix this little stuff up here let me see where I'm ending here give me one second I just want to look it over here all right, I'm gonna actually gonna have to buy more resin because I've been doing so much. So I may uh, buy more unicone. I may try the liquid uh, diamonds because I'm actually coming to the end of this stuff. So let me put the cap on that. And let me now remember it's a one to one ratio. So I gotta make sure that it is the same amount. Let's just see. Just excuse me for one second because I gotta look at it off camera for a second. Gotta look at it in the light. Hold on, guys. Bear with me. Alright. I need a little more resin. Sorry. Okay. Let's let me check. I just want I have the light on my little ring light here. I like to look at it through the light to make sure that it's exactly a one-to-one -one ratio hardener and resin. And then you always add the hardener first, then add the resin and mix, 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 and then scrape, scrape, scrape. But I'll show you again for people who don't know. Yep, that's actually good. Okay, so we got the equal amounts. Now the liquid diamonds, you know, look, I barely have any left now. Just a little bit in the bottom here. I've been doing so much of this that uh, I can't believe I ran out. And the other stuff I just wanted to kind of use up. So the next time I get a little money, um, yeah, I'm going to be getting some more. So I, I got this cool stick here. I'm going to mix with that. Hold on, make sure there's nothing on that. What is that? Sorry. No, okay. Sometimes I get... Oh, yeah, it's another thing I have to get. I'm going to have to invest in another silicone mat because I'm using this for both the uh, pour painting and the resin and I had to clean, I mean last night I spent at least 30 minutes clear cleaning both of these off and it was a big pain in the butt. So I'm not doing that. I, I don't really want to spend more money on another silicone mat. If any of you guys know. Um, I, I've seen some really nice silicone mats, but some of them are like $40. It's just, it's just a lot of money. I may need more silicone than this. I mean, I may need more resin than this. <clears throat> Alright guys, I will be right back. I think I need to measure a little more, and then I'll mix it, and then I'll come back, okay? I'll see you in a couple minutes. Guys, I am back. So I mixed both parts up until it's clear. Now this time I do see more bubbles than usual. Um, maybe it's the cold weather that happens. But once I torch the resin, and you have to keep the, the flame a little farther away, bubbles will um, come to the surface and then you can pop them. And then you can also pop your bubbles with like a toothpick which I have, you know, this is pretty much like a toothpick and I could pop them as well if there's a lot of bubbles, but it'll settle for a few. Um, so, you know, turn it, turn it, turn it, and then scrape the sides, scrape the sides, and then scrape your bottom. Make sure the bottom is scraped really well and then keep on scraping the sides. All right, I've been doing this now for about 
I'm gonna say a good five minutes, seven minutes, but you get the idea. And then scrape this stick. That's what this is exactly the reason why I got these because this is good for my acrylic pour. I could um, turn my paint, mix my paint and my resin, and really get the scrape good. I don't even know what the heck these are, but who cares? I found them, and I hope I could find more. All right, and then we'll save this. Um, it to pop any uh, bubbles or whatever and we can move the resin around in the mold hopefully I have enough because I am not sure how much I need and I may or may not be able to make the gabachon but we will see like if we have enough or at least I can make a couple all right so now I am going to pour some in each cup try to make it as even as possible but it doesn't really need to be Go back and forth. I'm gonna let the bubbles kind of settle for a couple of minutes. I'll go back over here. Yeah, this resin is cool because you have about 45 minutes to work with it before it starts to cure. So I like the fact that it has um, very low odor. I look for low odor, you know, fumes. Um, and long work time you know after you mix it you're on kind of a time restraint but 45 minutes is more than enough time to mix all these beautiful micas in okie dokie and there is that step done okay all right so get that out of the way and I am going to sit my butt down hopefully you don't see my cord but so we're gonna start with okay there you go that guy this is what the rose gold oh, all right so let's get started with this a little take a little more I don't know how these are very very pigmented sorry if you heard my mom she was wanting to come through unfortunately my workspace is in the middle of everything so nothing I could do with about that so next we have white plum So let me know um, what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day, if you're doing anything, and that means doing something nice for yourself as well. It is not all about dating or anything like that. It is about, you know, self-love as much as romantic love. I actually bought my son a really nice uh, little gift. He was like, well, you didn't have to do all that. It's not just about romantic love. It's about just love in general, right? All right, this is the strawberry red. Whoop, too much. I'm probably putting too much pigment in, but... All right, put that in. And last but not least is the raspberry red. And put it all in there. That should be enough. So I'm going to mix these in first, and then I am going to put the glitter in. All right. So you know what? No, oh, it's all right. I would say I'll come back, but this is not going to take very long. So yeah, let me know what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day, if you're doing anything nice. Whether it be with your family, your significant other, just for yourself. Um, this beautiful color. This is the rose gold. And I'll just let that, once I mix this in, I'll let that settle for a second. And I 
think that is good. Right, if I need a little more time, I'll I'll do this off camera, so you guys aren't bored half to death. Okay. See this bubble's coming up already. I'll let that settle for a couple of minutes. All right. It is freezing here today. It is like maybe 30 degrees. Oh yeah, so my, my husband and I were going to go to a Thai restaurant. Uh, my favorite one in this area. One of my favorite ones that I've ever been to. So, that was, I can't wait for that. Beautiful color. Okay. Yeah, I think I need start need to use less uh, pigment. I think that mixes in better. Again, guys, I'm learning. You know. Um, yeah. Because I can, you can watch as many t tutorials, and um, you know, you still have to f kind of figure it out for yourself sometimes. I mean, obviously, I look at a lot of tutorials. I look at your guys' channels, whoever does resin, I definitely learn. But until you do it for yourself, um, you really won't know. You know, I'm, but it's great. Absolutely wonderful to watch tutorials. It's imperative. Because how else, you know, unless you take a class in person, you're not going to learn. You know? All right. More with this one. Yeah, I definitely will start using less mica because I don't think I need that much. It's so highly pigmented and it mixes better with less. So, yep. Okay. Again, learning, learning experience, right? Okay. Let that see that big bubble. All right. And I did use less in here. And it's okay if it's like a little more clear and not as pigmented because this resin's better. And it's just a better resin. Um, I'm sure there are better resins out there than the Unicone, but so, so far I have had no real issues with it. Except today it's a little more bubbly than usual. And again, that could be the temperature. Um, yeah, just it's winter, you know, and the cold is not kind to mixing resin but at least the bubbles kind of dissipated yeah see this one I need I should have used less um, pigment I'm just gonna stir this a little more I'm learning you know all right now that step is done hold on Oops, sorry okay so now which is the hearts here we go um, these are little mini hearts. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna put some hearts in there. Ooh, nice. I hope that's enough. I have no idea. I'm gonna stir that up. Okay, well, I'm gonna put a little more. Again, this is my first time doing this, so bear with me. All right, uh, I don't know. All right. Now I'm gonna alternate. Let's see. I think I have other hearts too. There we go. I'm gonna put hearts in this one. I'm gonna alternate with the glitters. enough and if it's not it's okay all right now I am going to put in this chunky glitter this uh, was the red uh, the chunky cupid glitter Ooh, that's beautiful and we're gonna put some in that one a little more 
Okay. Isn't that beautiful? That should be enough. And then stir that in. And then tomorrow or um, whenever this video goes up, well, you know, when it cures, it will be 24 hours. So I will unmold it on here. And then I will put it together with my little fairy light that it came with. I'll show you that in a sec. I showed it the other day. This cool little, sorry about my cord. Uh, see, a pretty little fairy light that can go around it. And then, by then also, I will probably show you, um, I'll unmold the love uh, mold, and then I will also show you um, all my chakra paintings put together. I Because everything else is um, hot glued down. And I will hot glue the last three and I will put it all together so you guys get to see it. So that will probably be a quick little video. Like I said uh, earlier in the video, um, when my family's home, sometimes it's a little hard to make videos because I am literally in the middle of everything. Um, yeah, my space is in like my living room in a New York City apartment, you know, so it could be a little difficult to have quiet and yeah so and then my son is home and my husband works for like the board of ed and so like he's off too he's kind of quiet because he'll just like chill and uh play video games and just relax when he's off so yeah all right guys so i'm hoping that's enough glitter i don't want to do too much and you know what, again, it's a learning experience. Let me just, sorry. Yeah, this is gonna be a long video, all right? We know this, and my videos are kind of long as is. And you know what, I'm owning it. I like to talk, I like to tell, talk to you guys. I also like to talk about the products I'm using. I'm not sponsored by anyone yet, hopefully one day. But, you know, I will always be honest with um, if I ever do get sponsored or in you know in any which way um, I will always be honest with the products I'm using because I you know I'm doing it now you know um, I don't want you guys to waste money if the product is not good that's how I feel if I spend a little money on my own and I use a bad product you know what it's cool I mean you, even though I say it's a bad product you, may, you guys may love it you know but at least I give my opinion it's an honest opinion anyway let's get to pouring okay and if I have well you know if I have extra um, I will run and go get another mold because actually all the I didn't save any for the gabachon so that's okay I could always run and get another mold and then we'll pour that real quick as well. Okay, so I'm gonna sit that down for a second. And let's make sure you can see this. Okay, cool. So I don't mind that it's gonna flow into the next one. Stop with that color, let it flow a little bit, and then I'll go back in and like make it a little um, higher, a little thicker. But I do want it, I want the colors to kind of run into one another a little bit. Okay, stop with that one for a second. Yeah, I do want them to kind of bleed into one another purposely. And let me stop with that color for a second. Then I'm going to go back in. All right. And if the colors mix in together, I really don't mind because that's kind of what I want. 
kind of mix all these beautiful reds together. Okay. Get that in there. And I'm going to go in with my little um, tool and kind of get into all the little nooks and crannies a bit. My little toothpick tool. I think that's good. So I will have extra. Let me go back in here. Fill that up a little more. Whoops. Yeah, you can just wipe that away. Yep, I didn't think I would need more resin that this soon. But I do. A little bit of the V over there. Okay, let me stop there. Let me go in here. Do the O. Yeah, I could have used more glitter, but you know, that's all right. It's totally cool. Yeah, I have no, I had no idea how much uh, resin I was gonna need. This is the first time me using this particular mold. So, yeah, these are bigger molds, so obviously they're gonna use more resin. Obviously, we fill this guy up. So I have a little extra. I think it's pretty well filled up. All right, so let me just wipe that off. Okay, keep it kind of far away. It does not, does not bubble. There aren't any. Nothing is popping up. And if they do pop up, they do rise from the heat. Or just by sitting there, you can pop them. That's good enough. I don't want to overdo it. Whoops. Sorry, guys. All right. So that part is done. So I will be right back because I want to get, um, I want to get another uh, mold real quick. All right. And then we'll fill that up. And that's it. All right. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I got my little mermaids. We're going to make some Valentine mer I don't know how, I don't know if I could fill up both of them. But you know what? Let me very quickly, I want to use, let's see, here, all right, I'm going to add some more glitter for the heck of it, whatever is left, okay, I'll mix that in, I don't have a lot left. I don't know if there's going to be enough for both um, molds, but maybe there will be. There could be. Even if I have to mix the colors, that's cool. We're going to do a little Valentine Mermaid Tales today as well. All right? Yeah, I was going to use like a regular coaster one, but you know what? Let's do some mermaids. Mermaid Tales. Yeah, that'll be plenty. Get that in there. Get that little tail part. Oh yeah, there's definitely be plenty. Okay. I may actually be able to have enough to do a keychain. Alright, yeah, so this is what this is good for. Just kind of like move the resin in there. A little more, and that should be done. All right, that's good enough. All right, I'll use the one that has the most in. Let's see, scrape that guy down. Perfect, because I won't have any waste. 
Well, I wasn't going to waste it anyway, obviously. We'll have a couple of colors in here. Yeah, this should be enough for this one. Okay. Alright. We can scrape together enough for this one. And then we will be done for the day. Okay. Alright. Hope I have enough. I may go back to this one again. I just want them to be thick enough and not like fragile. I feel this resin getting a little thicker here, so by now it hasn't been 45 minutes. Good, this should be enough. Perfect. Uh, this is just enough for these two. I'm going to add a little more, and then that's it. I don't care if all the different colors mesh together. Because actually it will be kind of pretty. Oh yeah, I'll definitely have enough here. Beautiful. We'll get a little red glitter. The red cupid glitter. And that's pretty. Very nice. And the back will look a little different than the front. Gonna mix that in a little bit. Be perfect. Couldn't be any more perfect. Love when things work out. All right. Now I'm just gonna torch it a little bit, and that is it. And see if any bubbles like. Pop up. Keep little, make sure it's farther away. And that's it. Alright guys. So. Let me clean this off. Alright. Beautiful. Alright. So I don't want to move this. I'm going to let this sit. So guys, thank you so so much for joining me today this video is long enough um yeah so we'll the next video i'm gonna give this 24 hours um this particular resin around eight to ten hours you could actually touch it um <clears throat> it's slightly pliable so if i wanted to add like a ring or a, you know like a little clasp or something for um keychains i could um you know it is touchable after 8 to 10 hours, so if you want to make jewelry out of it, that's perfect. I don't know if I am, but, um, yeah, and then it'll take the full 24, and like I said, by then, I will probably hot glue the rest of my chakra paintings to the last painting, and then the next video, this will be a reveal, I'll unmold these, and then I will reveal, um, even though you've seen the chakra paintings, but I just want you to see them all together in a row. And then after that, I'm going to hang them in my in my space. And you can see them, how they look kind of as, you know, when they're hung. All right? So, guys, I wish you, everyone, a wonderful, my little um, gloves. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and night. Enjoy. Have a great weekend. And hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Follow me on social media. All my links are below. All the materials are below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.